Welcome and thank you all so much for joining us today live. We are live, Cody. So yes. exciting. Yes, and we are so excited to have Simon Hurleycraft with us today. He'll be showing us some new techniques and using his latest release from Ranger and Spellbinders. Yes, but before Simon joins us, we want to quickly share some deals happening right now at scrapbook.com. Yes, okay. the travel uh, media map from Tonic is back in stock right now and it's on sale for just $19.99. And we also have a flash deal happening right now on our Scattered Hearts Slimline Guy. It's only $9.99. That's an amazing price. So make sure you check that out and grab it. Yes. And then what's happening tomorrow? And then join us tomorrow at 8 a.m. PST, Pacific Standard Time, or 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for a live stream deal. And it's an amazing deal. Yes. That's tomorrow. Yes. But right now, we're going to be joined by Simon. So let's bring Simon in. So exciting. Hi, hey, Cody and Laura. How are you guys? How's it going? Welcome. Great. I'm so excited. We are so excited to have you here. It is such a pleasure. And we always have so much fun when we hang out with you. So I cannot wait to see what we're going to see from you today. Yeah, totally. It's going to be tons of fun. We're going to jump into some stamping foam techniques. And then we're going to hop into some of the new release as well, which is super awesome. All yeah. Right. Awesome. Do you want to show us what we'll be working with today? Totally. Yeah. Let's jump into the supplies really quickly. So. We I have on my desk some of the supplies we're going to be using. Cody and Laura are going to use different supplies today. Um, we have the heart cut stamping foam, and this is super awesome. It comes in a pack of two, so you'll actually get two of each of these. So you get four pieces in the pack, mm -hmm. and it has a heart frame and the heart interior. So you can use either one to create an impression. And then same thing with the circle cut stamping foam. It has the circle inside and the frame, so you get, can create really awesome impressions with it, whether you want to use the outside to stamp or the inside. And then we're jumping into some of the new release products like we talked about. So I think Cody is going to be using this awesome flowering mandala stamp, which is going to give tons of texture to the stamping foam. And then we've got some awesome stamps and dies here. Because remember, Ranger and Spellbinders collaborated on this collection, which is super exciting. So that means that for all the images that are in the different stamp sets, you're going to get coordinating die set as well, which is amazing. It's been such a huge time saver. So I'm so glad that we were able to get coordinating dies for these sets as well. So Cody is going to use the Butterfly Kisses stamp set. And then we have the coordinating dies as well. Actually, I think I'm flapping these around. I think Laura is going to end up using this set. <laughs> yes. I think so. I think you're right. I think it's just a box. That's okay. Then, we'll do whatever you want. We're just going to follow your directions. <laughs> and then Cody's going to end up using these supplies. So this is the flowering mandala stamp. Or sorry, this is the kaleidoscope flowers stamp. And this one is super awesome because it has peel apart pieces as well. So you have little oh. strips and different sections of the stamp that peel out. So if you want to use those separately, you totally could. Or you can use the full background stamp together. And some of these little florals peel out too. So it's almost like having a full another stamp set along in the set. And then we have the same thing, a coordinated die set and the stamp set. And this one is called succulents. So there's a ton of amazing succulent images in here. And then you have as well, the coordinated die set. And what's really awesome about this one too, is inside of this coordinated die set, you actually get a word and shadow die to create the word hugs as well. So it's a little bit of an extra uh, added value inside of that die set, which is super exciting. So if you get the succulents die set, you get that word along with it, which is amazing. All right, so should we jump into the projects? Yes, yes. I'm excited. This is gonna be so much fun. I love all of your new stuff. This is gorgeous. We are gonna have fun. Yes, okay. so much fun. Thank okay. you. And I think we should mention as well, the, the stamping foam and a lot of the Simon Hurley Create and Ranger products are also on sale this week at scrapper.com. So these especially are on a major sale, but then all of the other supplies are on sale as well. So it's a great time to pick up the new supplies. That's right, Simon. Definitely. Everything is on sale. So this is a great time to pick up some of these fabulous products. Totally. Okay, so let's jump into it. So with the stamping foam, like I was mentioning, you could use the heart frame or you could use the inside of the heart. I think we're going to use the inside pieces today. But what's really awesome about the frame is if you stamp the frame, which I have an example right here, if you stamp the frame, and this one has that kaleidoscope flowers texture in it, you get a white inside, like whatever shape it is. So you can put a really awesome image inside of there as well. This is from the new release to that really beautiful cake. Or you could use the um, like inside piece to create a really awesome colored texture in that shape. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be creating a project really similar to this. Okay. Awesome. So um, we're going to grab our piece of stamping foam and then have your texture ready as well. So um, Laura, you've got the kaleidoscope flowers and then Cody, I think you have the, um, 
the, I, was, I keep messing up the names. This one <laughs> kaleidoscope. Is flowering mandala, and then the kaleidoscope flowers. Um, yes, I have the flowering mandala. It's so pretty. <laughs> Love All it. All right, so just have that kind of on your desk, facing upwards. Okay. Um, and then I always tell people to kind of have the textures ready because you want to do it really quickly. Once you're done heating okay. the stamping foam, you want to go right into pressing it down because you're going to get the best impression that way. Oh, okay. All right. Perfect. So you can grab your heat tool. You can use any sort of heat tool for this. I like the Ranger one just because it's got a wider surface area. So it's going to kind of keep the, the uh, stamping foam heated for a little bit longer. You can use any sort of heat tool when you go in here. And we're just going to heat this up for about... 10 to 15 seconds, just moving it around on the stamping foam to make sure nothing burns, but to get a nice hot surface. Okay, here we go. I am blow drying my <laughs> awesome art. This is awesome. <laughs> All right, so once we've got this like heated pretty well, what you're gonna do is then quickly shut off your heat tool and then press it right into that stamping foam and give it some really good pressure like all the way around the stamping foam to make sure that okay. everything has got some good texture to it. Two hands, one hand. Yeah, either way, just, yeah, that, that was a good technique there. Just pressing it down with both your hands just to make sure okay. that it's going to get nice and impressed. This is like um, CPR. heart compression. <laughs> CPR. Use some CPR, <laughs> friends. <laughs> okay. All right, so once we've got that, it should look something <gasps> like this. <gasps> so pretty. Isn't it so fun? Yes, I love it. Look at, oh, yours looks cool, yeah. too. Cody did one, too. Yeah, and you can even see in there, the, the awesome part is that um, you've got this awesome, like really great little details in there as well, yes. uh, which I really love. Oh, it's gorgeous. All right. I love this already. Okay. Okay, so once we've got that all ready, we can then go into inking up the stamping foam. Okay. So just grab all your inks. I'm gonna use a couple of reds and oranges and yellows. I'm gonna do red and pink for, is that okay if I do red and pink for um, Valentine's? Yeah, totally. You, yeah, you could do any sort of color in here. Anything is totally good. And then when we're inking oh, this up. Simon, so, sorry to interrupt. There's a good question on the screen and I actually had the same question. Does the phone go back to its normal state on its own? This is from Ralph. So no, you actually That's have well. to feed it to return it to its normal state. So you could keep oh, these awesome. stamps in here for a long, long time, which is super exciting. Yeah. Okay, so I went ahead of you. I'm so sorry. So I just start stamp uh, inking, right? Well, you're totally fine. So when I ink Oops. up the stamping foam, I like to, instead of going in like with a regular stamping pressure like this, because you're going to get like a decent coverage, but it's not great. I okay. like to recommend to go in and just kind of go in this swirling motion like oh, this yes. and okay. keep it pressed onto there. And oh, the much more... better. I can see the difference already. Yeah, it gives a lot more ink. I don't know why it acts like that, but it, it's a lot different than what you would normally do with stamping. And then um, if you want to, like if you give a lighter pressure, you're not going to get into those details. But if you give a harder pressure, you'll get down into some of those details and get those inked up too. Okay, I see, because I have some really tiny details down in between the other bigger details. Yep, yep. And then with like Cody's stamp, there's not as many little details, so you don't need to press as much to get into those little areas. Oh, that's so pretty. This is so yep. much and fun. And then we could just go in and blend the colors together as we go down. It's, it's so okay. much fun. How many colors will you be using? Four? <laughs> I'm using four, but yeah, you could use however many you want. It's One two, or two okay. is What do you think too. about two colors, Simon? What'd you say? What do you think about two colors? Because I'm using, I'm doing the, the pink on one side and then your gorgeous beasting red on the other. That's, that's great as well, yeah. As many colors as you want or as, as few colors as you want is good. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, I'm excited to see this stamped. I love it. And I love that mandala on here. It, it just looks so pretty. Yes. With the heart. It is such a really pretty design. Yes. So Deborah, okay. that's a great comment that's on the screen. So the, yes. the flowering mandala is going to give us all this beautiful little detail, whereas the stamping foam is going to reverse it. And so it'll give us the details, but it'll make them white. So it's like coloring in this mandala. Instead of doing all that work, you could just pull up the stamping foam. It pretty much gives you that look. Okay. Yeah, that is awesome. And then some um, Elizabeth said that um, she's had the same impression in her stamping foam since she got it. That's oh, so cool. wow. So it does last a long time. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I just keep I keep mine in the drawer. And whenever I have one that I really love, I'm like, I'm keeping this. And then I just yeah. put it in there and grab a new one. This is one I would keep because I love this mandala. 
definitely. Yeah, it's so okay. much fun. Okay, so now All we right. want to kind of hold the stamping foam from a little bit of a distance and oh, grab water a water bottle. Okay. <laughs> oh, I have the water. Okay. I just spray water. Water. Okay, okay, there you go. And Sorry, then we're just like going to... No, you're all good. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to lightly mist this from a distance and I'm going to spray it like two times. You basically want to get this kind of a little bit damp for it to transfer, but you don't okay. want any globs of water. So like, look, it's kind of uh -oh. it's shimmering a little bit with the water, but it's I not like... I did a cool. little bit. Mine looks perfect. Uh, I don't even want to touch it though. Okay, so uh, we're going to just go with it. I'm going to go with mine. We'll see what happens. Okay, yeah, you'll just get more of a watercolor effect if you add a, a little bit more water. Which could be cool too, right? Yeah, totally. I didn't do that before. Okay. Mm -hmm. So right in the All center right. here? Yep, I'm going to stamp it down kind of in the center and then just give it some good pressure to make sure that it all transfers. Again. And especially with those little details, you want to give it a yeah. little bit more pressure, but. No, not too much CPR, maybe. All right. You are a really good instructor. Done. Okay. Ooh. I'm, wait, wait. Here comes my reveal. Ready? <laughs> Woo! It does look watercolory. I love it. That's so okay, awesome. Pretty, pretty, that pretty. looks great. You guys did amazing. Thank you. It's all because of the awesome instructor. Thanks. And so, yes, you can see here, like, see that black? That would have been the details. But now with the stamping film, it reverses it. And so all of the inside pieces that usually wouldn't stamp are in color. And then you get... The details in white which is amazing Pretty. okay i love that okay now we're going to cover kind of an integral step that nobody loves to do right cleaning but it's an important thing that i think a lot of people want to know about when it comes to the stamping foam yeah so when it comes to the simon hurley create inks they clean off pretty easily and they don't really stain oh, okay. you know surfaces so i'm just going to spray mine down with a little bit of water again and then i just go in with a rag or you could use a stamp shamey like you guys have and yeah, just I'm kind of wipe this off. Oh my gosh, that came, <laughs> <laughs> that came right off. I know, right? Yeah, that's what I love about these inks is they just don't stain at all. Yes. And so you're easily able to remove it from a stamp or your stamping foam. And there it's ready to go for my next use. I love that. Okay, cool. That was a cool technique. Thank you. Yeah, and then if you if you are using an ink that might stain a little bit more, that's totally fine as well. Um, just try to get off the excess ink, but you know, a stain stamp is a love stamp, like everyone says, and it's kind of a tool. So if it stains, that's totally fine as well, and you can keep using it as it is. And then, yeah. um, someone like everyone ask, was saying, what, oh, sorry, someone did ask what kind of paper you're using. Oh, that's a great question. I'm using the um, Simon Hurley Create Stark White cardstock. So this comes in eight and a half by eleven, and it comes in a pack of ten. So it's this really nice, thick, 110 pound cardstock. It's super bright white. And then it's really great at taking the inks and water really beautifully. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then when it comes to the stamping foam, if you are ready to remove the texture, like we said, you could keep it if you want to, but if you want to remove it, all you need to do is go in with your heat tool and heat set it. And then it's gonna go flat and back to normal, cool. which is kind of the magical part about stamping foam. You get a couple pieces in the pack for that great value, but then also you can keep reusing it over and over. Like totally. That. I love that. I feel like I'm going to keep this though forever. Yeah, I'm going to keep mine forever. <laughs> yeah, you guys can totally keep yours. Um, but yeah, if it turns okay. to flat then. Awesome. So now let's move on to kind of creating the butterflies for the card um, and, and Cody's cactuses as well. So we've already pre-stamped some of the images um, from the stamp set. So this one happens to be from the Butterfly Kisses stamp set. And we just stamped some of the butterfly outlines. And I think we can only end up using one of the images in today's, but I, I decided to stamp two of them. Can I just then, say, Simon, these butterflies are gorgeous, like really detailed, so really pretty. Thank you very much. I actually hand drew everything in this release, so I love it. Oh my <laughs> goodness. That's awesome. They are gorgeous. Thank you. Great job. Seriously, great job. And look at the cactus on yours. That's really cool. Did you draw Thank these? Thank you too? so much. So with these, with um, both of these sets, there's solid images in the sets as well. So Laura, depending on what butterfly you want to use, um, you're going to grab out like the, the body image and the wings as well, those solid images. Oh, 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 okay, okay. <clears throat> and so if you want to use the littler one, it'll be this body and then these wings. And then if you want to use the larger one, it's up, these two up here. Okay. I see them here. So I can choose, or I, am I going to end up doing both of them? Um, I, I only ended up doing one on the card just okay. because I wanted to not cover the butterfly so much. But you could totally do two as well. I have another one. one stamped. 
I'm going to do exactly like you, Simon. I'm going to do one. Okay, I got my body. All right, so I grabbed both of the solid pieces and just put them on some acrylic blocks. And so to do the stamping, um, it's really super simple. That's what I love about these solid images. We're going to use our Misty right here. Oh, nice. And you guys have the Clearly Amazing mats. I love those. Yes, this is a scrapbook.com Clearly Amazing mat inside to hold our paper down. Let me put mine right there. And let's match this body. The stamp. You know what? I'm going to do the same thing. Are you? I just don't want to mess up on live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're live, so we're trying to be as careful as possible. That is a great idea. <laughs> But you know what? If we mess up, we can fix it, right? Totally. Fix it. That's what it's all about. Paper crafting, scrapbooking, fixing it. Um, okay, so I've got mine in place. I think I need to like season or get my stamp ready. It's never been used before. Oh, yeah. I love to do that. Just to stamp. rub your hand on it. That kind of gets the, the factory coating off of it. And then you can go in and, yeah, stamp it down like that. Okay. All right. Purple All right, so I'm going to lay down the wings. And so what I love about this, and using the Misty is a great idea too, because you can really add like as many colors or as much shading as you want, because you can stamp it over twice, which is really great. Yes. Yeah. Okay, while we're doing that, we've got a question on the screen. Wait, what did you use to hold the paper? Inside the Misty, I think is what they might be talking about. This is the Clearly Amazing Mat from scrapbook.com. It's awesome. It's got low tack stick on it, and it fits right inside the Misty, and we have different sizes. So this is the standard size that fits right in here and it's just holding my paper perfectly. I've got to say that that is a must have. When that came out, I've been using it in my Misty, um, but also I do lots of heat embossing and like watercolor techniques. And so when something gets warped and I want to stamp on it, it's a great surface to hold it down. It's just yeah. really amazing for stenciling too. Okay. I'm gonna take some of that um, really pretty guppy color. I think that you may have used on yours and I'm gonna make my butterfly that color. So it brings in that third color. Oh, perfect. And then I'm gonna just go in with like a second color here. I'm using bee sting and I'm just gonna add some shading around the edge. Ooh, I like that idea. So you're kind of doing like an ombre shading effect. <gasps> and it'll just make it okay. a little bit darker. I'm gonna use the purple to do that, Simon. I love nice. it, that's a good idea. That's gonna look great. I'm just gonna do the edge of my butterfly, right? You're just kind of doing the edge? Yep, I'm just kind of rolling it on the edge there and it'll give a little bit of shading. That's cool. Ooh, Cody's doing the same with his cactus. That looks cool. I'm gonna use my finger because I don't want too much straight line. Don't do as I do, do as <laughs> Simon does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a little bit of that purple. That's a crown. The color is crown me. I love the names of your stamps, Simon. Oh, thank you so much. We have a ton of fun doing that. Okay. I think I might do some more of this yellow just to bring out that color a little more. We are just having fun stamping over here. Okay. So, Simon, we have one of your classes or a few of your classes on our site. So you want to tell us a little bit more about your class? Your yeah, so your most the class just came out and it's so exciting. This was, I think my fifth class at Scrapper.com, which is crazy to even think about. Um, and so when it comes to this class, we really focused in on some of the newer Simon Hurley Create products, like the Lunar Paste. We talked about the stamping foam and um, layering stencils, um, some of the different stamp sets, like the Peel Apart Macron stamps. So lots of different great tips. Like if you're a big fan of the Simon Hurley Create line, you can check out that class. Or if you're even like, just want some great tips for your other supplies that you might have in your craft room already, it's a really great class with lots of techniques. But then, like I said, there's, there's five classes up there from, from me. And some of them go through like basics and, and lots of different card making techniques. So those are great to check out. Yeah, it's definitely. definitely worth checking out. So many good tutorials. And the best part is, is that they're free. So free. anyone can... Oh. Tune yes, in. I forgot to say that. Here. <laughs> All right. So once we're done stamping now, we can then go in and do our die cutting. And like I said, one of the most exciting parts about this release, and I think what everyone is super excited about, is that 
Um, these stamp sets now have coordinating die sets from Spellbinders as well. So we're easily able to cut out the different images in the set without you know, going in and having to fussy cut every time. Okay. I love that you have dies that coordinate. Yes, I could not agree more <laughs> with having the matching die. Yes. Yeah, I know not everyone's a fan of fussy cutting. Um, and so <laughs> this is the best way to do it. You know, you save a ton of time. Yes, agreed. I love the backer paper that your dies come on. This is awesome. I could use that as like vellum. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, you can, Total you can totally right use that vellum. That's awesome. I like that backer paper. Okay. I have my die. We're going to let Cody go first and I'll tap. Oh, I have a machine too. Yeah, do you want to? Oh, I, mean, Cody, I have one. I have my own machine. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. Let's get. And the awesome part about, so we included that like little piece of vellum in there just so that it doesn't, because I know sometimes when you, when you pull your die off of a, a sheet, it might like rip the backing paper and kind of be difficult to remove. Yeah. So that's why we included that to make it a little easier. Smart. Now that is awesome because uh, then you then you have it all intact, and you could use that backer as a as a as a piece for a card or scrapbooking. Okay, I'm gonna take some mint tape to put my die down on my paper here. Make sure I match it up. After this um, video, if you guys. Uh, haven't seen Simon's video that he released earlier today, you'll definitely want to check that out. He had all kinds of tips, especially with the mint tape. It was a super awesome video. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, I shared I shared lots of tips using the mint tape and the coordinated dies. So there's lots of different techniques to kind of pull all these supplies together, similar to what we're doing today. Hold on, I gotta get my die back where it belongs. There we go. Okay. Are you guys ahead of me already? Sorry, I'm coming. No, you are totally fine. I'm, I'm reading the comments. I'm catching up here. I love it. Yes, read those comments. We've got lots of friends joining us. Thank you again so much for joining us today. We are having fun live with Simon. He is teaching us how to use some of his brand new release products. They are gorgeous and they are on sale right now at scrapbook.com. So you're going to make sure you want to grab those and check them out. All right, here comes my, oh, that's so cute. Okay. So over here. Okay, I've got my cute butterfly. All right, so to adhere it down, I'm just going to throw on the back a little bit of foam tape, just right in the okay. center because I like to kind of let the wings kind of hang upwards so that they look like they're flying a little bit. And I'm just going to put it kind of following the edge of this heart and just adhere okay. it down there. Okay. Cut some foam tape here. I like that concept. Grab some. Making him look like he's flying. Put him I love that. That looks great. You guys are doing amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Simon. It's because, again, that we have a really good instructor doing step-by-step -step with us. Um, Wendy is asking, it is a Simon Wednesday, you busy bee. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Absolutely. <clears throat> Cute. I love the dimension on this, too. Okay. It's a great YouTube video today, so this yeah. is good. Yeah. <laughs> And then, yeah, all we need to do to like finish this off really simply is just find a sentiment from the set. And okay. if you want to, again, you can use the Misty to make sure you don't mess up the card right at the end here. Well, I'm going to use your stamping block actually for the sentiment so I can see. Yeah, I like it. And then I just line up like oh. the grid lines and then that can help kind of make sure that it's nice and straight. Right underneath. Okay. Here's mine. I like sending well wishes and butterfly kisses. That's cute. Yeah, that's the one I'm using too. Oh, you are? Yep. Awesome. Yay. I chose the right one then. I can't decide <laughs> between, maybe you guys can help me. I can't decide between my life would suck without you and sending hugs. I think my life would suck without you. I was kidding. It really no, sucks. No, yeah. <laughs> okay, so these are because you're doing succulents. That's mm -hmm. so cute. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. Now I just need some black ink, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you. OK. 
Okay. Sending. Which one are you going to choose? I like. Well, I was hoping people in the comments would help, but. Hey, okay, friends. Which one should Cody use? Let's see. I don't see tell him again. <laughs> yeah, okay. my life would suck without you or sending hugs. I like sending hugs or you inspire me. Oh, someone said my life would suck without you for sure. Everyone's saying <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Let's let's use my life would suck without you. I do like the hugs. I mean, especially in um, the video when you like showed all this stuff for the first time. I thought the joke was pretty funny. That um, oh, yeah. was like my team was like my team was like, why would you put hugs with cactuses? And I was like, guys, it's funny. Like, <laughs> I think it's hilarious. Okay, here goes my sentiment down. This is on live TV. No pressure. Stamping. I think I'm gonna put down here. Simon, you're amazing. You do really well live. Oh, that's Thank so you. pretty. Oh, okay, I'm great. a fan. I'm a huge fan of your sentiments. Huge fan. Thank you. And and of all of your beautiful products. And I cannot believe you hand drew all of these gorgeous stamps. So pretty. Thank you so much. That is some serious talent. Okay, Thanks look at that. Fun. I love doing it. Well, now I'm going to take a card front base here and hear my card on it, right? Um, oh, so cool. uh, Kim said, why are some of the coordinated dies not available? Uh, I think some of them might be sold out right now, but they're, they're going to come back pretty soon. Totally. Yep. They will be back in stock very soon. Okay. All right. And then, yeah, last thing, all you need to do is just throw it onto a card base now and then you're good to go. Okay. All right, I've got my adhesive here. Just gonna go up this. All right. Sweet. That was so fun and so easy. But I, it looked daunting at first, but like having you explain every step-by-step -step process of this makes it like doable. Like. We could do this. Anybody could do this. this yeah. is so, I mean, seriously, I mean, I get nervous when I hear about the, you know, the stamping foam. I'll just be completely honest and transparent. But having you explain it and see how easy it is, now I'm addicted. Now I want to go make a ton of these. Totally. Yeah. And I think I think that's pretty normal. Like there's a lot of people that once they, when they see the stamping foam and they see inks, they get a little bit nervous. But when you really break it down like step by step and then they see it, they're like, wow, that was actually really a simple technique. But it, it looks really stunning in the end, which I love. Yes. yes, I just want to thank Sherry for what she just said. <laughs> she said, thumbs up, everybody. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's crazy, you know, doing this live, but it is so fun. And Simon is the best instructor. And he really walked us through this process and made it so easy and amazing. Yeah. Well, these, thank you guys so much for having along with me. What was yeah. that, Simon? I said, thank you guys so much for crafting along with me. This was a ton of fun today. Yes, oh, was. we had a blast and we're so excited that, you know, your products are still on sale the rest of this week for your class launch. Um, we're super excited about that, too. Um, I just so, yeah, want to say it's so fun. Yeah, I just want to say these are on sale right now at scrapbook.com for only $4.99, $4.99. And you get four like Simon showed at the beginning. You get the middle piece and the outer piece and you can make so many different stamps just from this one set for $4.99. So you're going to want to make sure you grab this. That's a really good price. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. An amazing price for these larger stamping pumps too. They cover an A2 size card and mm. I, I love them. They're so versatile. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then plus everything else, all of Simon's stuff is on sale right now that we use today plus other things. So you're going to want to check it out. It is a great week to get yes. all of the Ranger stuff on sale, especially Simon Hurley stuff. We absolutely yep. love working with Simon. He is the best. He is exactly who you see on camera. He is the best to work with. For sure. Oh, thank you guys so much. It's always so much fun working with you too as well. And the whole the whole new release is out as well. So we just worked with a tiny little bit of it today, but there's tons and tons of other products as well. Yep. Totally. Yes. All right, friends. This has been a true blast. I've had yes. so much fun. I want to do it again. <laughs> totally. I know. I can't wait to do it again. We're doing it again, Simon. I would love to. Your next release. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Count me yes. in. Yes. Show us all your ways, too. Yeah. Of course. <laughs>
Well, cool. Thank you everyone so much for joining us. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel and then go over and subscribe to Simon's channel and watch his latest video. Yep. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. This was a special treat. We are so grateful for Simon. So thank you again and be sure to check out all of his stuff and we will see you all very soon. Yeah. See you guys. Bye. Bye, Bye Simon.